Hello, my name is Comfort Onoja. Today, we'll be looking at campus marriage. Campus marriage is the cohabitation of two students of the opposite sex living together in an intimate relationship without being legally married. We have a lot in stock for you today, but first on the lineup is the drama titled Campus Husband. Oh my god, I can't believe this man has asked me to pay for another year. I mean, I don't even have money to finish my schoolwork. I really don't know what to do. How do I get that kind of money? And he's asked me to move out. What do I do? Take him to a party in his house with match and light. Let me just graduate. Sandra. Sandy baby. Yes, hi, what's up? What's the problem now? Are you sure you're okay? It's my landlord again. He wants me to pay for another year. How can he ask me to do that when I have barely two months to spend in this school? He has asked me to move out and now I don't know what to do. And I don't have money. You don't know what to do? Don't you have a boyfriend? What has my boyfriend got to do with this now? I saw him yesterday at the new lodge. You can move in with him. Besides, he's not staying with anybody. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, why are you telling her that kind of thing? Don't mind them, okay? And forget about that, your foolish boyfriend. I thought I've told you about that guy. That guy is not a serious guy. Forget about him and move on with your studies. Okay, Briska, I've heard you. All right, I'm coming here. Somebody's waiting for me at Mass Comp Department. Let me check that person. I'll check you back later, okay? Take care, dear. All right, bye. See, let me tell you, Priska will not do anything about it. She is broke. She's even owing me. Really? Her rent is even expired. Tell so her. What well, I would mm. advise you, just go and stay with your boyfriend. Follow Gazi's advice. What to do there? Choose Pande. Don't sure worry, you will pay me later. Eh? You will pay me for this sure? advice. And hey, before. Ah, it seems this lecture is not going to hold on. I have so many things to do in the hostel. Please, uh, Alma, you know, come here with let's me. Go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we'll bye. see you later. Bye bye. bye. Mm -hmm. Later. It's my landlord. No man has been on my neck. He wants me to pay for another year. Oh, and I don't have on. the money. Come on, come on. You don't need to walk yourself over this. I told you. Times without numbers. You don't need to go walk yourself over this same issue. You can come and stay with me. You mean I can stay sure, with you? Sure, yeah, sure. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Let's get it. Thanks. Hey, girls, 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 girls. How far? Uh, why are you beating like this? What's up with you? I have to run now. It's like I'm even early. Thank God the man is not here yet. Early care? Uh -uh. <laughs> this man, the man came, he gave tests and has even gone. What? You, you mean you've written tests today? How will you know that we're writing ah. tests? When you don't used to come to school? Besides, where have you been for the last two weeks? My dear, you will not understand though. You won't understand. Uh -huh. <laughs> You won't understand at all. Well, you sort yourself out. Besides, we are done with the test, so we are just waiting for the next lecture. Oh my God, what am I going to do now? Hi, baby. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fine. Hey, guys. Hello. Yeah, I'm Sorry, please. Can I get a reminder? No problem. Okay. Sorry, please. Um, there's a group at home. I couldn't watch them. Please, can you help me to watch them? Mm -hmm. okay. Very, very sorry. That's not a problem. I'll take care of it, okay? All right, thank you very All right, much. Take care, bye. Sorry, sorry. Yes? Um, there's no other room. Please, can you, can you help us to fetch? No, we need them now. We need to. It's not an issue. I'll take care of it, okay? Thank, thank you very much. Just thank take you care of yourself. Bye. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What is it again? Please, there's no food at home. There's no food at home. Uh, uh, baby, I thought I made something this morning. Like, you might you like please, food, please, do you please. want to kill me? It's for both of us now. It's for both of us now. Please, please. But it's because you're my baby. Don't thank worry. You, thank I'll you, take thank care you, of it, thank okay? You, thank you. Bye, take care of yourself. Mm. Mm. Is somebody jealous? Mm. Jealous? No, not at all. Married with my. You're still quite already married. Oh. My dear, I see the reason why you've not been coming to school. You heard what he said. You have a lot to do at home. And we have to release you so that you go and finish all the home chores. Uh -uh, Married woman. How man, please let's go. Are you just going to leave like that? Oh, please, please. Ah, ah. What's it? What's it? Emma, wait for me now.
right here. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm on two one. Oh my god, God, I thank you. Oh my, how about you now? I'm still on two two, but at least no carryover, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm on third class with three CEOs. <laughs> That's Pilova. <laughs> My dear, stop crying. What's wrong? Don't, don't cry. That's not the end of the world. And besides, I heard your guy is on 2 1 now. Because what? He's on 2 But that's the truth now. I should have to say it. You mean Ray is on 2 1? Yes, he's on 2 1. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. No, 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 don't touch me. Don't. Don't touch me. What are you? What's your girl? I don't understand. No, just tell me what's your grade? I don't understand. How does he how 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 does he relate to what I'm what what I'm what I want to see? Me, Sandra, on third class with four CEOs. What is, how does it concern me? I don't understand. Are you serious? Are you being serious right now? How does it concern you? Did After I... washing for you, washing your clothes, your smelly boxes, hey, and cooking hey, for hey, you, hey, and now you speak. have the guts to tell me what is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was I, did, did I follow you to, to your exam or to write, to write with you? I don't understand. What are you trying to say? God punish you. God punish you, Ray, for putting me through this, this nonsense. <gasps> Are you okay? What is wrong? I don't know. Why are you asking me that question? I don't know. When last did you see your bill? That was two months ago. Wait. Hope it's not what I'm thinking. Baby, what do we do? No, 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 no. There's no we here. There can't be we. There can't be we here. I'm just saying that. It's you. Me. It's you're the, you're the one carrying the pregnancy now. I, I, am, I, am I a woman? I don't understand. You start. said you love me. No, 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 no. Please find find a way to fix fix yourself up. I can't take this. I can't. Take Ray. This. No, no, no. no. Find a way. Ray. Ray. Oh my God. Welcome back. Next in the lineup, we will be finding now the views of students concerning campus marriage. Let's join Faith as she takes us through this segment. Thank you very much, Anoja Comfort. We are here on campus to ascertain the opinions of students on their take on campus marriage. Join us as we find out. Campus marriage, that is a situation where people of opposite sex that are not married stay together and do things that couples do. Yeah. Okay. Do you practice this? <laughs> no, I don't. So why do you think students do this? Um, sometimes, maybe it's because of lack of self-control. Yeah, when you can control yourself, you don't have a choice but just to do it. And then maybe because of the assistance, you need assistance from a guy and for him to assist you, you must give some kind of things. Yeah, so maybe that's why people do it. I think so. Campus um, marriage is a situation whereby a male and a female live together in one apartment. Such persons go into this um, staying together in one room due to financial issue and some persons also go into it um, due to they have, can I say, they mimic someone at a situation whereby you have a friend that also have a guy and they stay together and their financial level is um, not as high as we think. And some persons just want to also copy their friend and also go into it. What I understand by campus marriage is a situation whereby a boy and a girl stays together while schooling without being married, living in the same apartment. Well, I don't do it, but I think a lot of people go into it for the fact that let's say for the sake of love. Like when they are deeply in love and they don't want to stay apart, they go into what we call campus marriage. Why some do it for protection, like those that are from a very poor background, they don't have money to rent an apartment, when they come to school they decide to go and squat with their boyfriend, 
in order for them not to be collecting house rent from their parents. Or rather some do collect from their parents without paying. Why those that hang out with court members, they want to stay with them so that when they go into trouble, the guys are always there to protect them. I think these are some of the reasons why people go into campus marriages. Campus marriage is a situation where a boy and a girl stay together in school and they are not legally married. I know a few persons that do it and one of the reasons why I feel they do it is because of the financial constraints in school. Because we have lots, like you know, you're a student yourself and then you have lots of financial activities to settle in school and so they feel it will help them cut down, you know, some expenses and then I think that's one of the reasons. Campus marriage, this is a situation whereby a male and a female cohabit in school, but a different story outside, outside school environment. Just to explore, try new things. Since they can't do it at home, then up, uh, university is a school environment for the matured mind. So just do it just to explore doing new things that have, they have not done. Campus marriage is a situation where two opposite sex are living together. But the only difference is that they are not legitimately married. Okay. Do you do such? No, I don't. But Why I don't. do you think students do campus marriage? For some, it may be lack of finance. For others, it's self-acclaimed love. And for some, maybe they want to explore. But one of the reasons why many may want to involve in it is, for example, if a female party has an accommodation far away from school and the distance from her house to school is a little far, she may want to get close to a guy staying close to school. So in getting close to the guy, she will also get close to school. All right, that's the much we can take on campus. Over to you, Comfort Onoja. Next, we have Mrs. Scholastica Akosu from the Guidance and Counseling Department of Benue State University, who will tell us more about campus marriage. My name is Onoja Fitz from the Department of Mass Communication. We want to find out what your opinion is on campus marriage and studies. It's not legal, it's not proper. And I want to tell you that the school authority does not know about it because the school curricula has not included a cohabitation, that means not a marriage, cohabitation in, in the school. So it is out of place in our institution. Why do you think they do such things? Boys and girls, they practice sex outside marriage before they come to the university. And when they come to the university, they feel they are free to do what they want. There is no one to strictly control them at home or in the secondary school. They just start it as girlfriend, boyfriend, and then when they get to know each other very closely, they start living together. Some that are not very intelligent, they go with those who are intelligent. Because of that, they start uh, being very close together and then they end up living together. What are actually the disadvantage of campus marriage? If you are living as a, a, a couple, uh, even though it is a non legal, a, a girl may be demanding of uh, provision, money uh, from the boys. And that is a difficult thing too. And the boys will even try to go out of his way to satisfy the girl uh, financially. And he may even use his school fees, and which will land him into trouble. Uh, that goes a long way to a student uh, becoming very worried and cannot study hard. And that will land him into even failure. Can demand sex from the girl, and the girl may become pregnant, and that will affect her studies too. Huh? And that will affect the, even the, the parents because it's a shameful thing. Because we send the students to school to do us proud and not to give us shame. 
So there are many, many challenges. In some cases, they go to abroad. And that means you are challenging your life. It results to death. Thank you very much, Ma. It's really nice to have you. We've come to the end of the program. Thank you for watching. I remain Comfort Onodja.